Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Asad International Academy in 2021. Today I'm here to explain that how to test the null hypothesis for me. But before beginning the lecture, if you have not watched that lecture of six steps of hypothesis testing, then you must watch that lecture. That lecture is available at top of the video. At top of the video, you can watch the icon of as I suggested is available in that lecture. And I've already shared the link of that lecture, which is available in description. Must watch that lecture. But if you have already watched that lecture, then must watch again if you want to gain more concepts and information about hypothesis testing. These six steps, no just step, these are the six secrets about hypothesis testing. But so now I will discuss here the lecture which is given here problem uh, one solution. That problem is very very important and very very very, very beneficial to you. So without wasting any time, let's solve the lecture. So you give a problem here, read the problem or an example of size 36. So simply small n, which is a sample size, is given here 36. That's here, very easy. It's taken from a normal population with a non variance. And here variance is already given, which is a non variance. Here, so sigma square is equal to 25. But you have, you already know that we have to need the sigma. So simply, sigma is taking the square root on both sides. Sigma is equal to 5. I have get the solution. Next first step is the mean of the sample is x bar. So here x bar is given already here 42.6. That's given here 42.6. Next step. And next step. And you have to test the null hypothesis for me is equal to 45 against the alternative is u less than 45. So follow the steps. I will I will I will solve this miracle by using six steps, which I already told you about that. So let's start. So first step is given in number one. Number one step is here null hypothesis H0, and here will be H1. So null hypothesis is given already here, mean is equal to 45 and here alternative is given here mean less than 45 but uh, but I have uh, but I will upload the more problems of hypothesis testing in which there's null hypothesis alternative is, is not available but that's lecture will be very will be very well, will be helpful to you so first of all I follow the that's problem which is given here null hypothesis mean is equal to 45 alternative is equal to mean less than 45. Second step. Second step is here alpha level of significance. Level of significance. Level of significance is alpha is already given here. Alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Second step done. Third step. Third step is test statistics. Now I'm writing here the third step. Third step is given here test statistics. Test statistics is the uh, is the, you can say that formula which we use to okay, use the calculation for normal distribution. So here anti distribution. Statistics is given here will be z is equal to because that is in case sigma is already given must remember that. If sigma is already given, then it will be case first. I have already discussed the three cases which we use in the steps of hypothesis testing. That is the first case because sigma is already given. Because sigma is already given, that is the first case. So first case will be the formula is given here. Z is equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma divided by square root of n. So that's the third step. Now moving here, fourth step. Fourth step is the calculation. Fourth step is the calculation. Now we will going to calculate the value of test statistic. Z is equal to x bar is given already here. 42.6 put the value here. 42.6 minus and mean is given already here uh, 45. Put the value here 45. That's clear divided by sigma. Sigma is given here 5. 
5 divided by n. n is given here 36. So square the square root of 36. Simply you can write here square root of n which is equal to square root of 36 will be 6 is the 36. So put the value here 5 divided by 6. Now I'm going to calculate the value of z by using calculator. Follow the steps. 42.6 minus 45. We get the value here minus 2.4. Must remember that that value I don't calculate by direct step. That step value will be uncorrected. For gaining the correct value, follow that step. Uh, uh, separate, separate, 5 divided by 6, 5 divided by 6, we get the value here 0 0.833. Next step will be here 2.4 divided by 0 0.833. We get the value here 2.8. So, given value will be here minus 2.8. That is the calculated value. That is, you can say that. that is calculated value of z minus 2.8. That is the fourth step. Now, remaining two steps are available. That then we will be end step of this lecture. Five step. Five step is given here critical region. Very, very important point discussing here, which is very, very uh, end part of the lecture. Important is here, important and beneficial to you, critical region. Critical region also called as rejection region. In this step, I will follow the main important point. I will first of all critical region must see, must remember that we will see the H1 that is given here. We will see the H1. H1 is given here mean less than 45, which is show that sign is of one tail. Must remember that sign of less than, greater than. That is the sign of one tail. Must remember that is the sign of one tail test. So, we will follow the steps is given here. I will make the figure of one that simply that shape is the shape of normal distribution. Just follow the steps. So, but first of all, first of all, talking about that given here mean sign. Mean is less than 45. So, sign is the less than. So, that tail will be here. So sorry for that step. So that value will be here uh, minus z alpha. Must remember because that's the one tail test, one sided. I put the here z alpha one. But must remember that if you have if you get if, if you have any face any problem of two tail, that will be z alpha by two. Must remember z alpha by two. But because it's a one tail, this is the one tail. So we put the value here minus z alpha. We know that range is minus twenty two. Plus 20, that's good. So next step, if, if, if you have at the face of get that 45, if you face any problem of get that, that tail will be here at the step z alpha. Must remember. Now next step is given here. You have to calculate the z alpha. Very very simply follow the step is given. For calculation of z alpha, must remember that standard value is 0 0.5. You know that total area under normal curve is 1. You already know that 1 is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. So you can say that total area under normal curve is 1. Total area under normal curve. Under normal curve is 1. Must remember that. So standard value is 0 0.5 minus divided minus alpha. So given here 0 0.5 minus alpha. Alpha is already given here 0 0.05, which is the level of significance. Put the value here 0 0.05. Now calculate the value here 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05. We get the value here 0 0.45. And next step is here was that value. C and you can say that C dash value in the table of which table of which is available in the table of areas of standard normal distribution table which is available in the book share normal show the page number 545 so table is given here we will watch that value in the table that's available in that section 0 0.4505 that edges are 1.6 that is 1.5 that is the z alpha so here i have i have gained the value of by using table 
d alpha is equal to 1.65 that's here we put the value here in question mark in question mark i will put the value here minus will be main as it is and next will be here minus you can write here 1.65 right here 1.1.65 that's clear now last step is which is the five step last step is the calculation last step is the conclusion reject h node and accept h node in that let follow the point here we put the value here z calculated value less than less than you minus z alpha which is the table value that is the table value that is the table value you can write here zt zt is the show that table value so you have to calculate if calculated value is less than that will be reject h node if it will be greater than that will be accept h node that section is the rejection region and that section is the rejection region must remember that and that is that portion is the acceptance region that portion is the acceptance region so you have to just calculate here that first step calculated value is given here minus 2.8 minus 2.8 less than minus z alpha z alpha is given here 1.65 you can follow the real line for that section you can follow the real line real line is given here 0 1 2 and that value is given here minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 you can check that value minus 2.8 minus 2.8 will be available in that section must be able and next minus 1.65 minus 1.65 will be available in that section minus 1 point approximate 65 in that section given here minus 2.8 is less than minus the alpha obviously you can write here minus 3 is less than minus 2 similarly minus 2.8 is less than minus 1.65 so we'll be here rejection region so that's conclusion will be that's the five step and last step will be here six step so six step will be here conclusion 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 will be reject h naught reject h naught because it lies in the critical region of rejection region i hope that you gain a lot of points about that, about that. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel. You must press bell like button for gain notification of my new lecture and new lecture about hypothesis testing. Goodbye.